now question of the day mcq block a and b rest on horizontal surface in contact with each other that a block and that is b block pushing forces f1 and f2 are applied as so here f1 and here f2 force weight of a is 30 newton and weight of b is 20 newton weight always work on downward how much 30 newton and that one is 20 newton our motor determine find the force f1 so how can be determined first of all make free by diagram of that block okay first one this that block weight always work on downward how much that is 30 newton and that one is 20 newton according to question 30 and 20 newton okay now f1 direction this one okay f2 direction this one okay component of f1 along x direction is f1 cos 30 degree okay along y direction that one is f1 sin 30 degree okay clear or not now if you see very carefully it make free by diagram of block a that one is 30 newton f1 sorry f f1 cos 30 okay normal force n1 and in this direction f1 sin 30 clear or not and that force suppose that f of simply f okay b to a are simply f okay now if this block is not moving that is sure f1 sin 30 this be equal to f1 sin 30 plus 30 newton this be equal to n1 clear or not okay and f1 cos 30 this be equal to how much f okay that is equation number one and that one is equation number two now after that if you make free by diagram of block b that block a and that block b normal force into that one is how much 20 newton block a apply on block b how much that is f according to newton's third law if here f then b a also apply on b f and here how much that is 50 newton now if block is not moving it means n2 is balanced 20 newton and f this be equal to 50 newton so that f is put here then f1 cos 30 this be equal to f 15 so f1 is 15 and cos 30 what about cos 30 sin 30 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 that is root 3 by 2 so f1 is written as 15 into 2 divided by root 3 okay or you can say that 15 into 2 into root 3 divided by root 3 into root 3 so that value is put here 10 root 3 newton so f1 is finally we got 10 root 3 newton is the final answer clear or not if any doubt then comment it i will discuss again okay so which option is correct d option the correct option none of these okay 
make it 